everybody, welcome back to E cubed. Today we have a great expression. Actually, it's a comparison of two expressions. To lose contact with somebody. To lose touch with somebody. Mm -hmm. Are both possible? Are they the same? Are they different? Well, with a person, they're the same. To lose contact with somebody, to lose touch with somebody, the same thing. And actually, we can use it for something, too. To lose contact with something, to lose touch with something, they're the same. It means that the connection is gone. It might be a cell phone connection. It might be an address. But there can be. A difference. To lose touch with something, uh, with somebody. When we say the word touch, it's a feeling and it's a sensation, one of the senses. We've got five senses, sight, smell, taste, hearing, and touch. So many times when people say, I lost touch with somebody, they're, they're talking more of an emotional, there, there was an emotional connection. There was uh, maybe love or just a warm friendship and ah, the friendship got disconnected somehow, okay? To lose contact with somebody can be more technical. It could be technology. I was talking to my father on the phone and then he went into a tunnel and we lost contact. Does that make sense? So losing contact with somebody, there was a technical problem and the connection ended. To lose touch with somebody, you had a good relationship, a good friendship, a love perhaps with somebody, but over the years, the connection has been broken. So once again, basically they're the same, but if you want to get into the deep meaning, yeah, it could be different. But once again, use them the same. Check out the dialogue. Eric? Who's Eric? I, your best friend from high school. Oh, yeah, wow. We lost touch years ago. Yeah, I've lost contact with nearly everyone, too. It's true. Yeah, back in high school, I had, I had three really close friends. Uh, my best friends, Eric, Greg, and Ron. Uh, and uh, lots of good friends. There was Brian and Larry, and I'm going to forget people, so uh, I don't want to say their names. But lots of, lots of great friends back in high school. Uh, Dan and, of course, Shane and Tim, Don. Pete, Chris, John, pff, I didn't really like John. <laughs> anyway, uh, lots of really uh, good friends. But you know what? As time goes by, I, lose t I lost touch. I lost contact with them. I suppose, you know, if I went online, I might be able to find, you know, maybe an address or a phone number, but, or maybe on Facebook or something. But, uh, nah, sometimes uh, you lose contact and you lose touch and it's sad, you know, it's a, it's a sad thing. But uh, maybe, maybe there's a reason we lose touch with some of our great friends from the past. Maybe it's because uh, we've grown up or they've grown up or become different people and I think Many of you, especially perhaps the older ones, my age and older, might agree with that. Um, the memories we have of our high school friends are great high school memories. But they're high school memories. And we're not in high school anymore. And we change. And that's a good thing. Keep those memories. You don't have to go hunt the person down. People change. You might be disappointed. Keep the memories. Enjoy the memories. 
Yeah, so once again, to lose touch with someone, to lose contact with someone, they're the same thing. Well, touch, once again, has that sense of feelings, a bond, a good relationship. Contact can be more technical, so there is that difference, but pff, it's the same thing. Practice the dialogue three more times. Thank you very much for watching the video, and I'll see you again next time. Take care, everybody. Eric? Who's Eric? I, your best friend from high school. Oh, yeah, wow. We lost touch years ago. Yeah, I've lost contact with nearly everyone, too. Eric? Who's Eric? I, your best friend from high school. Oh, yeah, wow. We lost touch years ago. Yeah, I've lost contact with nearly everyone, too. Eric? Who's Eric? I, your best friend from high school. Oh, yeah, wow. We lost touch years ago. Yeah. I've lost contact with nearly everyone, too.